hello hello and welcome back everyone so it feels like i want to say long time no see but it hasn't really been that long so um welcome back a uh, big change that you can probably already see is my hair is significantly shorter um i did get a cut if you guys checked out my instagram i did post a picture and i am so much happier with the color with the length right now because my hair was hella damaged it was honestly this whole portion that was going down it was just dead so i'm so happy that um it's just healthier now we do have a haul today it's going to be some drugstore sephora a little like a couple clothing pieces and that's gonna be that um also very bright very bright look today i did something different the picture of the makeup look and everything will be posted on Instagram as soon as I can get it up there. And yeah, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Here is the box. We got a lot of goodies. Um, first off, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of start with the, the makeup and um, all of those kind of things, just because I know you guys are the most excited about those. I know I am. I've been dying to play with them and use them, but I was like, no, we have to wait for the video. So. I'm very excited with you to be able to finally use these products. I do I do have quite a bit of hair care um, items just because I needed some stuff for my hair. And I'm gonna start with the drugstore products that I have for hair care. So I got the Nexus, the Blonde Assure uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I had gotten these because I saw that um, the shampoo specifically won Best of Allure. I can't remember what year it was, but it did win that. And it's supposed to be just a really good Drug, like drugstore uh, purple shampoo for you know blondes color treated whatever um, I'm still technically blonde I have a lot of like little blonde highlights going through it so I just want to keep the brassiness out and um, I have tried the shampoo I have not tried the conditioner um, but the shampoo has been really great like uh, like before I even got my hair cut the first time I used the shampoo it already took care of a lot of the brassiness like like that um, there was still a hell of a lot of brassiness left just because the color itself was so, like just so dirty and like met, messed up because I hadn't gone to the salon for so long. But um, this shampoo was honestly amazing. Highly recommend if you are um, a blonde and you want to try something new. Um, I just like the way it feels. Um, it even smells good. So I recommend that and I still need to try out the conditioner. Um, also from the drugstore, I got this Mark Anthony Dream of Big Volume Perfectly Full Thickening Cream. It's plumps and lifts microfiber bonding technology. Basically, this is like an after wash kind of product. It's kind of like a leave-in um, product type thing, and you go from root to tip. It's just supposed to give you some like volume, but it's also supposed to like um, be actually like good for like frizz as well. And that frizz is one of those things that in the summertime I feel like we just can't get away from. Like my, my hair right now is trying to get frizzy, um, like as I'm sitting here. So. I really wanted to try this out and see if it's kind of going to help with that a little bit, and I will report back. Okay, um, what else do I have from the drugstore? Mm. I have a face wash. This is the St. Ives Calming Daily Cleanser. Um, it has chamomile in it. I have tried the watermelon one, and I really, really enjoyed it. Plus, I also tried the tea tree one that they have. Um, this just seemed really neat, like something different to try out. Um, it's supposed to be calming and soothing, so... Excited to try this out. I do love their uh, face washes and just generally their products. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up enjoying that as well. I um, also ended up getting this secret clinical um, completely clean and 48 hour invisible deodorant. Um, just something new to try. It smells really good. It's supposed to be the invisible one so that you don't see it on like dark clothes or whatnot. Yeah, it smells really good. That's what that looks like. Alrighty, I also ended up getting the St. Ives Energizing Coconut and Coffee Scrub. This is something I was really excited about. It just looked really cool and I love um, like coconutty things and I love coffee scrubs. I usually make it at home, but this was just like something new to try. Oh my god, it literally smells like a latte. Oh, like an almond latte. Oh my god, that smells so good. Holy crap. Okay, well, I'm excited to try that. Like, really excited to try that. Um, alrighty, from the drugstore, that was it. I want to move on to Sephora because I do have 
some fun stuff from Sephora plus like one really big thing uh, that I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, first off is this Amika, this Bust Your Brass Color Blonde Conditioner. I only got the conditioner initially from this because it was, um, again, it was like a best in the lore kind of thing. Um, it, the, the shampoo was the one, the Nexus one I showed you, the conditioner was this one, and I wanted to give it a try. I love, by the way, the packaging. It just feels like really nice. Um, I don't know how to describe it, it's just very like sturdy and it has a great feel to it, but um, this I did try um, once or twice so far and I did like it. Um, it did definitely help with the brassiness as well. The conditioner is more like a instant thing, the shampoo is the thing that's supposed to help you like over time. So we'll see how it goes, um, but so far so good. From Sephora as well, I ended up getting a Clarisonic brush head. I needed a new one and they did have it on sale, so I was like, hell yeah. Um, this is the Acne Chrome Skin one, which looks like this. Um, this one I have actually, I don't think I've tried this one. I've tried most of theirs before, but this one I don't believe I have. Um, they also, I just noticed, have changed the cap on it. So you just pop it out like this. Oh wow, it's like domed. I see that it's like literally domed and that's the bottom okay cool this is gonna be really interesting yeah I'm excited to try this it actually it looks really different like even the back of it the cap that looks really really different and weird in a way I don't know I hope this is compatible with my Clarisonic I have like the old-school Mia because mine still works and I'm not throwing it out unless it dies on me so we'll see how this goes I hope it is compatible um, but yeah the acne thing was that's exciting that's definitely exciting um, I got a couple like free little like freebie type things. I got the Am um, Amica Fade Block Pre Shampoo Color Seal. This was really cool and I actually wanted to get it the full size initially and then I saw that they had a little small version of it um, as a freebie and I got it instead just to try out. Um, and I'm really excited to try this. I've just been trying to get more into hair care as you can tell. Um, I also got this Briogeo Farewell Frizz Ross. Raw Sarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This I was super excited about. Briogeo is one of like the best hair care brands, and honestly, I haven't tried much from them, so I was excited to get to try something from them. Um, the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair uh, Recovery Complex Number no. Two. I used to swear by the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Honestly, like there was a time when I was repurchasing it like consistently, and then I stopped because I wanted to try something new. Plus, the price of it is very steep. Um, but I'm happy that I could get a, like a little small size of it just to like try it again and see how I like it again because there's a part of me that kind of feels like I like I'm gonna love it the minute I try it. Also, I ended up getting another uh, little sample of the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Shampoo Micro Exfoliant. This was very cool. I don't know. I've never tried something like this before, but it just seemed really neat. Um, I also got a trial size of the Pharmacy Daily Greens Oil Free Gel Moisturizer. This I really, really was excited about. I love pharmacy products. You guys know that if you follow my videos. Um, and this was their new like facial moisturizer. And it's supposed to be like a gel and super soothing and amazing. And I was um, hoping to in the future get the full size. But I was like, oh my god, I guess just try it in a sample, which is perfect. I also got the sample size of the Brazilian um, Sol de Janeiro. This is their shampoo and the strengthening conditioner. That's what that looks like. Perfect. Um, I got this replica little sample uh, perfume and it's the replica Whispers in the Library one. Um, I'm normally a fan of very fresh scents. Like their uh, sale day, I believe it's called, or sailing day. I love that. But this one. It's a little too musky, a little too much for me. I feel like it's a very mature scent, so personally, I wasn't a fan of it. Um, and I'm definitely not going to be using it because I will like gag if I spray it on myself. I get very nauseous if the scent like doesn't jive well with me, so that's a no, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to leave the best thing from Sephora to last, and I'm not trying to you know torture anybody. It's just honestly, I'm so excited to announce what I'm going to announce and show you guys. So. I'm gonna leave that to later. Okay, I don't have a lot of clothes, but I do have some, so I'm gonna try to like burn through it quick so I can get to that like final surprise for you guys. Um, okay, from Gap, I ended up getting this cute little t-shirt. Looks like this. Um, this is kind of like a cropped tee. It's boxy, boxy fit, cropped tee, just plain black, 100% cotton. Um, this is the 
just the detail on it. Um, really, really comfy, really nice material, plain black t-shirt, nothing to really like write home about. The t-shirt I'm currently wearing as well, if you guys were curious, I did feature it in a haul, but it is also from Gap. I've been loving their clothes lately, I've been loving their like styles, they're just great for like everyday wear, and they have sales constantly, so you can honestly get great prices on the products they carry, and the, and the actual quality is amazing, so I've been really happy with them. Um, from Old Navy, I ended up picking up a pair of sweatpants, and those are the details if you guys are wondering, you can screenshot it, whatever. Um, these are the sweatpants, they're like a cargo sweat, so they do cinch up at the waist, and then they have a little pocket, super soft, they have a little like um, crunched at the end. Really, really soft material, really nice material, very breathable. Um, yeah, I got them in a small, they do fit big normally in sweatpants, sometimes I'll, I'll go for a medium, but like what I've learned is from H&M, from Gap, from um, Old Navy, they fit bigger, so I usually go for a small, but any other brand I usually go for a medium. Um, also, another pair of sweatpants, just because I really needed more, um, this pair is from Under Armour. Um, these are what they look like. They're just like kind of like different. I don't know. I was really into the look of them. They're very different. They're very like, they have more of a baggy feel. They're super comfy. They are like tight at the bottom. Um, I got a size medium in these though, um, and they were on sale as well. So I'll show you guys the details right there. Um, I'm really excited for these. They're super, super comfortable. I just wanted these as like every day, just like run out sweatpants. I'm not looking for anything crazy. Just something really comfy. And then from Zara, this order was the worst order I've ever had, like with Zara. It mm, they don't ship to PO boxes, they don't ship to post offices, and I didn't want them to ship to my home because um, there's been a lot of issues um, with just like in general um, condos and apartments and everybody like having their parcels stolen from in front of their door when the parcel gets left in front of the house or the condo or the building. Um, so I didn't want them to ship it to my home and they didn't mention anything on the website that they didn't ship to PO boxes or that they didn't ship to like postal offices. So they got to the post office and immediately, like I said, it was there. So I went to pick it up, but then they couldn't find it. And it turns out that's because there's automatically a thing in their system that goes ship it back because it's at a post office and apparently it's not safe, which makes no freaking sense. It's the more, most safe option. It's a post office. So yeah, but these are the pants. That was the story. They're just a high waisted, um, they're like a black gray pants. They do have some discoloration through them, but they are high waisted. Um, the actual details, let me see if it, yep, I think it'll say it. It's basically, um, I got a size 38 by the way, and it's a high waist skinny in twilight. Okay, finally, time for the big reveal. Um, this is the product that I was so excited to get in for you guys because um, I finally get to do my giveaway. We are very, very close to 5K on Instagram and this giveaway is for the people that honestly fo followed me for a while. They are always commenting. They're just on my Instagram. They're involved. They, they care about what I do and I just want to kind of say thank you to those people. Um, this is not me announcing the giveaway. This is me just showing you what it is. Um, I will be announcing it on Instagram specifically, and the rules are going to be listed there as well. It's basically you need to follow me, tag people in the comments, follow me on Insta, follow me on YouTube, that kind of thing. Um, but, yes, it is the, <laughs> it's the ABH, the Norvina collection palette. It's the one that's like um, more orangey tones, like that you can really play around with. Um, I will open it to obviously show you guys. I'm not going to swatch anything because this is going to somebody else. This is not my palette, um, but it's beautiful. I have to say they did a phenomenal job. So that's how you'll open it. And the palette is sitting like this. And then that is your palette right there. When you guys will get it, that's what it will look like. And that is it. It's freaking stunning packaging, by the way. Like they did a phenomenal job. And then you got a little, oh, sorry. I'm gonna blind you super hard, so I'm gonna try to like go under. That is it. Oh my God, it's just so beautiful. I'm just gonna hold it up to the camera for a second and just let you guys take in 
how beautiful, how pretty, how colorful, like, oh my god. Honestly, when I got this palette in and I saw it, um, there was a part of me that was like, I should have ordered two. Like, I need one for myself. This thing is stunning. The colors are so bright. They are so vivid. They are just stunning and beautiful. And one lucky um, follower, subscriber, whatever you want to call it, will get this. Um, and it will be... It will be worldwide. I was thinking about keeping it to just Canada because I'm Canadian, but honestly, I know most of the people that follow me are not necessarily Canadian. Um, a lot are US based, so I do want to make this open to everybody and um, just like a little like thing, like a, not a little, but like a thank you to you guys just for being supportive, being amazing. And this will be the giveaway will be announced on Instagram. Stay tuned. It's going to be coming in the next couple of weeks for sure. Um, like I said, it's it's the minute five, we reach 5K, it will be announced. So thank you for watching, you guys. That was everything. This was the whole haul, and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. I believe the next one will definitely be an empties or like a favorites because I do have empties and favorites to share. So again, thank you, and I will see you guys in the next video, and see you on Instagram. Um, definitely connect with me there. Bye, guys.